Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Python and future employment options. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, can you talk about development jobs that involves writing a lot of Python, pandas and numpy? This sounds like a data development job, but maybe not product development. Would that come to haunt me in my career down the road? Well, I can tell you right off the bat that NumPy and Pandas, like these, the Python libraries, a, they're not going to be super relevant for you if you're interested in doing product development. Python can be used for product development, but I will tell you now that the popularity, as you may or may not have heard, of Python's rise to, I think it is the second most popular programming language today, right after JavaScript. Java used to be the second one. I might be wrong here and it might change of course, but uh, the rise of that popularity is very much due to the fact that machine learning is taking a bigger and bigger piece of the marketplace like more people want to do machine learning and Python is very well developed for that sort of work it's also a very popular programming language for university purposes and learning and everything related to as this subscriber is mentioning data science or analysis or statistics and so forth it's probably the favorite right up there with like R and so forth and MATLAB for the students who are focusing heavily on data science and statistics and so forth. But Python as a application development language is not as popular as many other options out there. So if your primary focus is to do application development, and I'm just going to assume that you're going to do web now, well, then I'm not saying that Python is bad because it's not. It's just that you're not going to most likely at the very least find as many jobs doing Python application development as you're going to find other, they're like there are other languages that are more commonly associated with it. So if you're, I mean, if you're really interested in Python, I don't see that as being a super big problem, but you should know that if your goal is to be a professional software developer, I'm very sorry to have to tell you that there are some languages that are really popular for application development for that sort of work, and then there are some languages who you may love, but that's just not associated with that sort of work as much. And that doesn't exclude the possibility of you doing that sort of work in that language, it just means that you're going to be more limited. And as I say, tell quite a lot of developers who are really passionate about speci a specific stack, it, it always comes down to the same problem for you. If you love a stack or a language so much, is that you can't imagine yourself doing anything else in any other language, you're always going to be left with that, that uh, like fork in the road. Either you're going to have to move or make sacrifices to work in that specific stack, or you're going to have to switch languages. And as a true professional software developer, I can tell you that there is a lot of times where, unless you're like in love with one of the absolute most in-demand languages, you're gonna have to make that choice for yourself. And uh, there's no wrong answer. It's just up to you what you feel is necessary. But if you want to be a, um, if you want to become a true s professional, odds are that you are at some point going to have to make a compromise somewhere. So in this scenario, I'm not saying that Python will hurt your chances. I'm just saying that if you're really hell-bent on becoming an application or a product developer, you are most likely better off do, picking something else. So what I want you to take away from this is that there's nothing wrong with Python. Python is very associated with machine learning and there are plenty of people who do DevOps and so forth, for example, who use Python. And it's also a fairly popular language in the uh, pen testing space, but uh, that's not the end of the story. Like this is, I don't want you to think that just because you learn Python, you're going to make it in like DevOps or something like that, because there's a lot more to DevOps than just knowing a language that is sometimes popular and sometimes it's not even used within that space for a specific company. When it comes to machine learning, data science, and so forth, 
Absolutely, Python is a great choice, but it's not as common to use Python for product development. It does happen, but as I've said before, some languages are very associated with a certain type of work structure, even though there's no real reason why you couldn't do product development in, an, in one specific language. It's just not the norm and you have to look in your region to see and kind of get a feel for what the job postings are about. If you see that there's a lot of Python opportunities, hey, then go for it. If you on the other hand see, which is fairly likely, that a lot of the stuff is being done in something like Java or C, C Sharp or something like that, well, then you have that choice and the choice is always the same. If you love Python or something like or a language, whichever it is, and you see that there are no opportunities really for that sort of work, then you either have to switch languages or you have to switch your region of work. That's usually how it goes. Have a great day.